treat it that actually go coincides with our, our beliefs. So, um, so how do you treat someone who has been through traumatic events? Any ideas? Uh, saying your thoughts out loud, so when it goes from over like the unconscious to the conscious, so it won't be stored all the time. So writing. Or, yeah, the writing is, is good. Um, and what we'll, was one of the things we'll talk about in a little bit. I would say listen to them too. Listen to them carefully. Mm -hmm. Give them a lot of experience. Yeah, yeah, those are those are good. So um, I'll, this is what I, I put. So you want basically need to change the way they're thinking and maybe journaling it or going. But um, so oftentimes they're viewing their environment negatively because, for example, um, like the in the army, you see someone get killed and then they question like. What kind of God will allow something like this to happen? Or what kind of life is this where we can allow these killings? And, and so that, it's like a moral injury that's occurred. And so that needs to be healed, or that needs to be fixed. And so usually you have to uh, help them find, or they have to find for themselves what good has come in that situation. Um, for example, uh, one of uh, I, I used to treat a person when I uh, was in uh, not not recently but a few years ago, um, and he was in the army and he was forced to basically kill people or do these orders that he didn't agree with, and that was just his role in the military. He didn't really have a choice if he didn't listen, then you're in trouble. And so when he returned to the civilian life he realized he couldn't take orders from people or else it would just bring those memories back up. Um, and so he used that energy to like be his own boss and start his own company and try to like not, uh, not have that, be in that situation. Are they called the triggers? Yeah, you can get <laughs> triggers like sounds, uh, noises, the environment. So oftentimes people just will want to avoid that. Um, uh, so the preferred form of treatment, like psychologically and psychiatrically, is therapy. Um, like talking with someone on a, like a weekly basis or regular basis to try to um, like help them deal with this um, in a like a calm environment, an unthreatening environment. But at least for us being. Uh, Christian, uh, we would want to have someone in the same faith uh, because you're really going to go deep down into like some of the core beliefs, and it's just you can only go so far if it's not someone with the same faith, and that's really true of any mental health um, uh, disorder. Uh, so we have some uh, good reminders in the Bible. This is from uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, just, pure, lovely, whatever things are good report, if there's any virtue, if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. And so why this is really nice, I think, in this aspect is because um, you're, you're, you won't, this is telling us not to really dwell or reflect on anything negative or anything bad in our lives. It's telling them to just meditate and reflect on the good. And so it's going to be especially difficult sometimes with people who are really anxious brain or really sad from sadness, things like that. But it really needs to be sort of uh, transformed into thinking this way. So if it's too difficult, like if someone has a really difficult time with the journaling or with trying to shut down that mind, that's when the medications are going to be helpful because the uh, medications typically are thought where it can calm that part of the brain, the unconscious part, so that one has more control over their thoughts and their thinking, etc. And so more specifically, the medications can address the anger episodes, they can address nightmares, sadness, anxiety, the startled response. So it won't necessarily take it away altogether, but it can sort of calm it down so that one has more control over how they think 
and then therefore there's how they feel and how they act, etc. Um, and so, really, when they'll see a psychiatrist or therapist, is when some part of their life has been impacted negatively, whether it's their relationships or school or work. Um, and that's really true of any mental health this problem. Um, if, like, say if someone's sad for a few days or anxious for a few days, but it doesn't really impact, impact their life negatively, then there's not really a reason to see a mental health provider. Usually it's when their life is really negatively impacted when they um, need to get that address. Um, Okay, so then by better calming the brain, it will be easier for them to get through the healing process. And so, uh, as Mimi brought up a good point about the, bringing the unconscious conscious, and she mentioned journaling, so 10 to 5, 15 minutes a day. Sometimes even about the painful experience, a lot of times people will try to avoid it, but where that painful experience is, is going to be where the most healing will come, if that makes sense. Um, anyone know like a pus? 